We all like a clean smelling house in the winter time. But is it worth uh, losing your health over it? Or hurting uh, a life, whether it's a human or a dog or, or animals? Uh, or electronics? Welcome back today to Pushing Technology Limit. I want to talk about the dangers of using those Airwick air fresheners. Now, I discovered this a long time ago when I used to use Airwick. And today, I've actually been working on a couple of computers. And I've been finding out that they've been using some sort of a air freshener in their home. Now, I have no problem with a clean smelling house and whether it's a shut up smell or burn food smell you, you don't want to smell it all the time so you either turn it on or maybe you just leave it on all the time well did you know that the Airwack air fresheners put out some kind of a film when that oil heats up and burns or evaporates I'm not sure what it's doing but it's doing something now when I stopped using this stuff back in I don't remember when I I was using it but it was back in the day and age when they still had tube TV sets and it was down here in this very basement that I was using it it stunk like mold and I hated the smell of mold and actually the mold bothered me and I thought well maybe putting one of these airwick fresheners down here would help the smell well over time uh, I got even more worse and when I when I'm talking about mold and it wasn't like a serious big bad mold problem but it was just a hint of mold um, and I was sneezing down here and having to use a lot of hankies well over time that got worse and one day I was looking at my TV set and I'm like Good night. Why is this thing so filthy? And and I also had a stereo down here that I used while I was working on some stuff. I wasn't really repairing computers back then like I am now, so I need a shop. And I looked at that TV and I'm like, I didn't think it was that dirty down here. I mean, yes, there's some dirt and I cleaned, but it's not that bad. I took my finger across that screen and wiped it. I was like, ew, it's all sticky. Well, I sniffed it, just for curiosity's sake, and I'm not usually the one that goes around sniffing dirt, but I was just wondering why it was so sticky. And sure enough, it was that Airwick air freshener. So I switched to another air freshener. Same issue. Well, it wasn't nearly as bad, and I don't think that it did nearly as good of a job with the scent in down here. But really, what what it was doing was it was covering up the smell, but it was com combining it with the mold stink and making that air freshener smell. And I, I'm done with this, and I, I just shut the thing off. And from that day on, I found that my TV set stayed cleaner, everything else stayed cleaner, and I wasn't sneezing so much and being allergic to the, the odors down here. And after a while, I just got going and uh, cleaning up whatever that mold smell was. And it finally left too. And I was better. But now here's the problem that I've been finding with the, today with air fresheners. And it's not just today. But it's been, it's been since that time that I first used them myself. They stick inside of computers. And it's awful. Now I'm going to show you this computer that I've gotten from a friend that I'm working on right now. Actually, i got two of them that I'm working on. One's not so bad as the other. But man alive did it smell when it came on. So let me show you that system right now. Now it's a little bit hard to see in this computer all the, the sticky and ooey gooey stuff that's on here. But you see the bottom of this computer? It's just dirt, and it's all sticky, and it won't really come off this 
when I put my finger down here to kind of clean it, it's really not even coming off my finger. It's just staying there on the computer. And it's kind of gooey. And it's the same stuff around here. Now, I'm not saying that this person was a uh, horrible cleaner, but um, it just sticks. I mean, when that thing, when this computer pulls in, I mean, yes, the computer's going to get dirty because it's going to pull in air. No matter what, there's always going to be dust in the air, so your computer's going to be somewhat of a collector of dust. doesn't matter how good you clean, it's just still going to happen. But um, this whole thing is just sticky, and it's the same way here on the top. Now, I can move it a little, but you see how it's not coming off? i got to really just scrape on it to get the that uh, dirt off the, the top of this thing here. So I got to push down really hard and then it's still not coming off that good because it's all sticky. So that's what the air wick fresheners are doing to your computer system. And it's not just the inside, it's, it's not just the motherboard issue stuff, but it's also pulling it into the, your power supply here and coating that. And I've got another computer i got to show you right now. So here's the uh, second computer that I'm working on. And I can see from right in here that this computer is much better. And the dirt that was in it, it, just, it was just surface dirt. And it just came out when I opened it up without a problem. Um, there is a little bit of an odor to it that it smells like uh, air freshener. That um, and I know that they they use some of that, but this system must have not been as close to the air freshener, or maybe not run as long as the other one did. But whatever the case may be, this one is better and is not heavily coated like the first one I I uh, showed you. And it's not just the um, you know air wicks. I mean, it's everything. I mean, even if you smoke cigarettes, that will cover the inside of your computer. Uh, I'm talking to both to smokers and non-smokers today. So don't get after me about uh, me uh, saying that smoking's bad. It is, but that's your choice if you want to smoke, and I don't care. I don't smoke. Uh, maybe out my ears, but that's about it. Um, and that uh, causes issues. My father used to work on TVs and my grandfather in the late 80s. I mean... They were working on that before, but that was when I was growing up. And there was TV sets that they had that people used that were smokers. And it was just covered with nicotine. And your computer will just take that in just as much as uh, humans will. And you're doubling the, the danger with using uh, these air wicks or any, any air freshener that has this oil base from box stores or any store that's online for that matter. Now the only solution to make your house smell better is natural oils from any uh, natural store. Uh, whether it's you know in your town or on the internet. Uh, the natural oils do not leave that greasy residue like these chemical oils do. Now you can um, buy a little diffuser from like Amazon and it doesn't have to be from your uh, nature's company that you buy from. I'm not going to say which one I use because I'm not going to give them free advertising because I pay way too much money for their stuff. So they're going to have to give me a, a reduction if they want me to uh, advertise for them on my videos. But anyways, um, you know, get yourself a little diffuser from anywhere you like and then just mix the oils in with some water and that will do better than these Airwick uh, oil uh, fresheners do. And they don't leave, like I said, the natural stuff doesn't leave that residue stuff like the store-bought things do. So... I'm only just t telling you this just for a warning, just for a heads up, like, you know, well, my computer doesn't work too good, or my TV set's always filthy. Well, it's not you, it's that Airwick stuff. 
It's just a sticky, nasty stuff. And even my uncle uh, bought a house that they use air wet fresheners in. And it had black all over his walls from those things running all the time. So he had to do a lot of cleaning to get the sheetrock back to look like it was supposed to. So if you uh, enjoyed this video or you got something from it and you know of somebody that could use this information, please pass it along to them and I'll see you the next time and have a great day.